Hey everybody, today I'm going to do a basic beer bottle arrowhead. There's a pretty good number of videos on YouTube about this and everybody does it a little different. But first of all, let's talk about the bottles. Now, this is a Blue Moon bottle and the only thing that's not great about it is that it's pretty indented in the bottom. So you want one as flat as possible. So this O'Doul's, I know it's not real alcohol, but it's, it's flatter. So you maybe go with something flatter. And then finally, the bigger the better. So if you have a little beer bottle, you're gonna end up with a little arrowhead. If you use a big beer bottle, you're gonna end up with a big one. And of course, whiskey bottles and stuff like that are the best yet. For the sake of demonstration, I'm going to use this big beer bottle with a nice flat bottom. And the way I get the bottom off is use a big heavy nail or a big heavy drill bit or a big screw, like a big lag bolt or something. And you just drop it in the empty bottle and you carefully shake it and you try to blow out the bottom. Okay, so what happened was that blew out that little hole right there. Now I'm gonna aim to the other side. Look at that. Oh, somebody put their cigarette out in this one. <laughs> I don't smoke, this must have been a party bottle. But now you have a nice little disc of glass that you can get started with. And you're gonna break a bunch of these. Look, this one didn't work out that great. So get a bunch of these on hand, they're basically free, and practice your technique. As far as tools for the beer bottle arrowhead, I'm gonna be using a copper nail embedded in a Dacron handle. You can buy those on flint napping supply websites. But let me show you, when I first started, you can just make your own. Get any type of little handle, put, a, put any type of nail, iron nail, copper nail if you can find them, put them in there securely. And as far as a bopper, you can just put a copper pipe end on a little dowel, tape it on. Uh, you might want to put some weight in there, but basically you can start pretty simple and then work your way up. Now, the other thing is I'm going to be using a little special pad that I, that I have for this, but you can either buy a little leather pad or just a nice thick piece of leather. Or when I first started, I tried this little number where you put your thumb through this hole and then you can hold the piece. You can hold the piece of glass as you're working it into this and uh, just be creative, but safety first. The first thing I'm gonna do is break off all of this rim, all of this edge. And to do that, I'm gonna use a copper bopper. I mean, you could just about use a stick, you could use anything. And I'm just gonna be smashing it along the edge. So I hold it against my leg on a piece of leather and, oh, okay, that's gonna happen. We can probably work past it. And, Start again. So what you're left with is a fairly flat piece of glass if you pick the right beer bottle and you've gotten rid of all the lip, but now we've got the worst thing in flint napping, which is a perpendicular, just a 90 degree angle to the glass face. So what I'm gonna do is use my ishy stick and I'm going to pressure flake up and down all the way around the piece, making a zigzag pattern of platforms that I can then drive in. And put the pressure flaker here and drive this flake off in this direction. And then I'll flip it over and basically start a zigzag pattern. So again, I'm gonna go from here down. So I put it into my little rubber holder and I put the pressure flaker stick, the ishy stick, right there. And I'll hold it up for you. Might take two. So let me do a few more and I'll come back to you and show you the progress. Okay, I am not driving flakes into the piece deliberately. I'm just trying to create a narrow zigzag instead of this fat, thick platform. Let me grind it and show you what this is starting to look like. It'll really show up with the grinding, which is another benefit of grinding. But you see now all of a sudden, we've got a series of platforms this way and a platform that way. And so I'm just gonna continue zigzagging around this piece. I'll probably do this in fast motion on the video editing. Oh, 
Okay, I've gone all the way around the piece, and you see that zigzag pattern that I was talking about right here? Let me make that more obvious with a braiding. You're gonna need to abrade it anyway with a piece of grinder stone, or just a rock. All right, now look, we've got all of those little deltas. So if you've seen my previous videos, this little downward V is a delta. I'm gonna put the pressure flaker right there and drive a flake in to start to clear this glass. And I'll go this one, this one, this one, this one. And then when I get done with one face, I'll flip it over, regrind it, and then this delta right here will pop, pop, pop. And the most likely way that you're gonna break a little piece of glass like this is using too much force and having the piece bend. And what I mean by bending is if you don't have it supported well, it'll snap. And so you want to support it. And the way I support it is I'm holding it mainly into, okay, into these two fingers. I am not pressing down very hard like this. And this finger, even though you think that it's pressing down, if I press down too hard, that's where it's going to snap. So this is really just very gentle support. So when I get it into position, you can see that in this little trough, I can sit here and pop these flakes off. Let me sharpen my copper nail in the issue stick and I'll come back in just a minute. 